How's that for a brand new battery? Almost done. Almost done. I got I, I got it cleaned out. I got one half anyway. I, I got one half cleaned out. So now I just got to concentrate on the other half. And I'll be done with that like mm, in about two minutes. Well, they tell me I got 24 hours to get this truck cleaned out. I will have it done in a couple of hours. You uh, know, pretty much got, you know, pretty much made it uh, livable, you know. Probably just probably about to go across the street right quick, grab me some boxes. Um, you know, make sure I put like all my important stuff, like my computer monitors, my computers, my hard drives, stuff like that. The secret to making moving a breeze for you and your friends are three simple tips. First, there's no such thing as too many boxes. Secondly, there's no such thing as too many boxes. And number three, there's no such thing as too many boxes. Seriously, packing is a breeze when everything is in a box. I mean, if I really look at it, I really don't have that much stuff in here. It's just, it's just, you know, packing everything up is just, that's, that's just the thing. Guess I'm gonna have to go across the street and get me another box. It's five o'clock. I figure I get on the road at six. Uh, it takes about eight hours from from here to Ohio. That's it for Tunnel Hill. Tunnel Hill is done. So went in there, got my paperwork. I had to call corporate tomorrow I had them to email me some paperwork now I guess you guys wondering why is he going around getting all this paperwork for because see let me tell you you should always have something in writing to back up any claim that's made against you so that you can dispute it and that's what any job not just not just trucking that's what any job you want to have something on writing so that when they go look it up and they say hey LaShawn we got you um, this is what your this is what your DAC report says oh okay well I have a copy of my DAC report and this is what actually happened now see your DAC report is like the truck driver's credit report you pretty much want to keep that clean and you want to you want to challenge whatever's on it you see what i'm saying it's something that's on there that you don't think that's feasible you got to challenge that or even when you're going to get a new uh, trucking job you can not only challenge it but you can let them know hey this is what happened so that's why I wanted to get all my stuff. I want to get all my DAT report. I want to get everything on my DAT report. I want to get all the miles that I drove and the time that I start and the time that I got terminated.
to be honest, to be real, real frank with you and to be honest, guys, you you guys know my struggle with U.S. Express. You know, you guys been there with me. Y'all y'all knew my struggle. Um, how I had to, how I had to argue for miles, getting stuck up in the Northeast for weeks on end. With all the issues with this company, I still came out and said that this is a good company, and I will still continue to say that this is a good starting starter company. So this is not a knock or anything like that. This I just want you to do your homework. And I just want you to do your homework before you choose whatever carrier you decide to go with. So, like I said, I got I got my experience. So my next chapter, chapter two, is definitely going to be awesome. All right. Definitely going to be where the money at. So, but I know chapter two, I know not to do no. If anything, I learned. I know not to not to do no not to do no in camp video. I know next time I know what to look for next time of, of not getting ambushed either. Alright, so I see I see you made it. You dropped the trailer. Alright, we need to get you now. This is Haley talking. We need to get you in to get your uh, driver tech fixed. I says, uh, I said, yeah, that's, I said, yeah, that's the plan. I said, I got a pre-plan that's going to take me to Ohio, and I could just drop it over at the Springfield terminal to get it fixed. Uh, nah, we want you to come into Tunnel Hill. Tunnel Hill. Uh, Where's that at? I says, uh, why you want me to? I said, you want me to deadhead 500 miles? Over the tunnel hill. I mean, the pre-plan that I got. Five hundred miles. Yeah, I said the pre-plan that I got. I said the pre-plan that I got uh, will take me to Ohio, and I got six hundred and I got six hundred and fifty miles with that, and I could just take it over to. Um, I could take it over to Springfield. Okay. Nah. Um. They. They really want you to come in and and get the the driver tech fits here at Tunnel Hill. Go in, take the take the truck to the shop. Put the truck in the shop. Sh uh, truck get fits. I walk over to Haley and I go. I says, uh, now mind you, now listen. I had my camera. I had my camera on my wrist like I always do. Every time I get up, I always put my camera on. So I have my camera. I have my camera on my wrist. So I go in there and I talk to Haley. And Haley goes, "Hey, what's what's with the cameras?" I said, "I always have my camera on." I said, "I got my." I said, "I always got my camera on." And then she goes, "Then she goes, oh well, I I didn't know you was a YouTube star." I, really? I was like, "Well, I'm I'm not a YouTube star, but you know, I'm on YouTube." <laughs> she first says that. A client had a problem with my camera. All right. A client. A cli Somebody that you recorded that you didn't get permission from. Right. But I never, I never record people. I always blur them out. Right. So I know that it wasn't nobody that called in. That's what she says. Now here's where I get blindsided at. So she says, well, Misty, a new lady from safety, wants to talk to you. But I don't know what they want to talk to you about. Really? Really. Uh, why, would you, why did you make that YouTube comment, Dan, if you didn't know what was going on? I go into the office. I'm making the long story short. We go into the office. I sit down. We wait for Jeremy to come in. Jeremy comes in. Now, my, now at this point, I have not met Jeremy since I've been with this fucking company. I have, wow. not, I have not met him. I only talked to him once on the phone since I've been with this company. Once. What? So, LaShawn, you know, 
you know why we routed you into the uh why we routed you here? I go channel here. I, I go get the get the tech thing fixed. Right. I said I go to get my driver tech fixed. You know, I said it's been giving me problems for the last for the last couple of, couple weeks. of weeks. So, did you make a video about that? Of course I oh, did. Fuck. Right. It wasn't no old fuck. It wasn't no old fuck. You're gonna ask me a question that you already had know the answer to. So what what you thought I was gonna say? No, I didn't make no video. Yeah, I made a video about it. So you you made a video about it? I said, yeah. I said the driver tech went out on I said it crapped out on me. Uh it crapped out on me while I, while I was in mid transit. And it's frustrating. And I and I made a comment about it while I while I had my camera running. Well, um you you know it's against company policy to have a mobile yep. device in your hand. I said, well, there's a mobile device. I said, well, that's a gray area right there because number one, I didn't have a mobile device in my hand. I says, uh, I says I I didn't have my phone. No, I didn't have my phone or camera phone in my hand. I said I got my GoPro, which is strapped to my arm, uh, which is strapped to my wrist. And she goes, well. It looks like it's in your hand. No, it's on my wrist. I said it's the same. It's the same thing that you know Haley made me take off. So I don't have my phone. I said I. I, I said I know safety precautions and I know the law. You know the law states that any CMV driver is restricted from uh, restricted from having a a, C, a a mobile device in his hand, i.e. camera phone and or phone or testing or anything in that case i said in my case it's strapped to my arm do you find it a distraction i said no i i don't think i don't find it as a distraction i said you know what i find as a distraction that the driver tech goes out while you in mid drive that's a distraction i said you want to know what a distraction is when you got the fleet manager and i looked at haley I said, when you got the fleet manager and the CSRs and the, um, you got the CSRs, the fleet managers and the, um, and the, uh, and the low planners constantly testing you on the driver tech. That's a distraction. Me having the camera on my arm isn't a distraction because I'm focused on the road while I'm driving. Well, being that you know being you know being that it's grounds for termination i was like okay so i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe they're gonna write me up or suspend me or whatever right and she goes and, and this is when she hit me with the wrecking ball she goes well yeah we we we're gonna go that route we're 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 uh we're we're terminating your 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 time with us here i said wait Hold up, and that you know, I told her I was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked now. I'm, I'm shocked. I, I'm speechless. I a decision. You've already made a decision. Yes. I have. You're fired. I goes. I goes. Wait. I said. I said I didn't violate any company policy here. I mean. If anything, I said I keep all my I said I keep all my stuff strapped on me. And she goes, Well, that's against company policy if you have it strapped on you. No, it's not. No, I said I said no it's not. But I said, you know what? I said I under I said I understand. I, I said I understand and I see it clearly right now. I said basically you just you letting me go because I uh I, I talked about I talked about the driver tag. I didn't talk about the company per se, but I talked about the piece of shit driver tag in uh in the truck. And that's what you guys is mad about. Just be honest. Like I said, man, they you know they they you know I'm a hell of a driver. A safety bon I, I had my safety bonus for the last six months ever. And I run hard. I said, I haven't even been home since January. You know what I'm saying? I run hard. I accept 90% of the loads that you guys give me with no issues at all.
Yeah, so first round. I said, I did like this to him. I said, you know, you got drivers that's doing way worse that I can never do. But see, I'm not, I'm not here to throw them under the bus. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm not here to throw them under the bus because you know Jeremy was like, "Well, which one?" Nah, nah, I'm I'm not here to mm -mm. throw them under the bus. All right. Well, which one? Like this. I said, dude, if you seen my video, then I'm sure you seen all the other drivers' video. I said, you know what? Listen, I said, you know what? I've been making videos since the first day I got since the first day I got with this company, and I had my and I had my GoPro strapped to my arm ever since you guys seen my video why y'all didn't why y'all didn't question that last year or 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 say something then. or say something or, or give a warning right or give a warning or say something then that's why you did that but i said if you want to go this route that's all well and fine so i went I went and talked to Haley, and Haley looking me up and down. I'm sorry, Sean. I didn't know that they was going to do this to you. I said, yeah. Really? In the back of my, I'm, I'm going like Haley. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like Haley. Yeah. Don't, you know, I said, Haley, don't worry about it. You know, you know, you know, smiling in her face or whatever. And in the back of my mind, I'm going like, yeah, right. You just, knew. just stop. You knew. It's not over. Well, well, give it to me. Give All right. Me. All right. Give you a. We we gonna. We're gonna give you a bus ticket. This is what she said. We're gonna we're gonna give you the amount of a bus ticket. I'm like a bus ticket. A bus ticket. A bus ticket. <laughs> and uh, what they give him fifty dollars gate money and a bus ticket. Are you serious? A bus ticket. Um, she said, "Yeah, we're gonna give you the amount of the bus ticket." And then Jeremy comes out and say, "Yeah, uh." You got 24 hours to get, you know, to clean out your truck. Hold up. 24 oh, I said, I got 24 hours to clean out my truck. And you guys is only giving me a freaking bus ticket home. Really? I said, don't you realize how much stuff I got in that truck, man? I said, I got comfortable in that damn truck. I got, I, dude, I got a lot of shit in that truck. And it ain't going to fit on no bus. At least... At least give me, uh, you know, give me a rental or something like that. I said, you guys had me deadhead all the way here to fucking Tunnel Hill. I said, if that was the freaking case, you could have had me to go to Springfield, which is closer to my home. I tell you, all day yesterday, I, I thought I was going to be stranded out there, man. I, I really did. What's this? My my thing is this: the the close it out. I I understand why I got fired. All right, I I'll accept that. That's Social not media policy. Yeah, I'll accept that. You you guys fired me because I bad mouth the bad mouth the company, and it's not mm -hmm. because it's not because I had a handheld mobile device in my hand. I'm I'm not accepting that because I got the handheld device that I got is strapped to my wrist let's be honest you know so like i said when i got back and i and i got sick again because of the fact that number one they wasn't honest with me and number two they was gonna have me fucking stranded out there you know i've seen a i've seen a video of a of a of a employee getting terminated the guy that was getting terminated he cleaned out his truck and he left uh he left something he left a going away present for these boys literally he turned around cleaned out the truck and everything he came back and pissed all over the all over the sleeper i gotta find that video so i can show you guys but time to say goodbye to old bessie Uh, even though even though I didn't like this truck in the beginning even though I didn't like this truck in the beginning it it really was uh, it really was enjoyable driving this truck whoever else get this truck after me it will take care of you it took care of me 
Except for the driver tech, though. The driver tech didn't take care of me, but the truck took care of me. It's a good running truck. Well, as far as uh, U.S. Express goes, Chapter 1 is in the books. Chapter 2 will start soon. No ill wills for uh, for this company. It's, it's no ill wills. It's a good starter company. Despite all the issues and everything that I had, it gave me the opportunity to get my to, to get my my experience in. Close to a hundred thousand miles, two years, safety bonus, safe driving, and no issues. I think I've done pretty well. And you guys. You guys came along for the journey, man. Now I appreciate that. I feel like I'm about to shed a tear. <laughs> nah, it ain't that serious. <laughs> um, guys, just like I said, just uh, just take a lesson. You know, this is a lesson. You don't gain success without having a few failures. And this one is definitely not a failure. I don't like the situation, but it's definitely not, not a failure. All right, guys, just, um, just trying to... Just take the time to think on what company you're going to come with. Make sure you do the pros and cons. If you guys want questions about U.S. Express, don't talk to the recruiters. Talk to the drivers. Talk to the drivers that know. All right? Don't talk to the recruiters because all the recruiters is going to do is just try to get you in here and, and get you in the seat. For every one driver, there's 10 drivers that's coming in to take your spot. Just remember that. And that's not just with U.S. Express. That's just with any company that you go to. Alright. This is it. The final goodbye for U.S. Express. Lockout men. And I'm out.